it's not only the players that have to show great mental strength and concentration over the course of a World Championship final. The referee has to study every shot played. And a crucible first during this World Championship is that Michaela Tab is the first female to referee the final. When I got the phone call from Mike, our tournament director, it was unbelievable. And I never told anybody other than my husband. I think it never felt real. I was kind of frightened that it wasn't going to be real. So we kind of played it very low key for a while until it was con really confirmed. I just, I was just kind of scared. I didn't want to, to be taken away because it means everything. It's everything that my family and I've worked for. Um, that we've all worked for, any help that I've been given has all been for this moment. Um, so, you know, it's, it's everything. As a family, we were really into um, Q Sports snooker, obviously, at that stage. I mean, I've, I've got some terrific memories of um, crying when Alex Higgins, you know, won his second title in 82, and we were all there, all four of us and the dog, watching um, the, the Davis match. Um, with Dennis in 85. It, it was very much a family sport. I definitely, definitely spent years and years watching snooker, especially the World Championships. I know I had to work a lot harder because when I came in, everybody knew. I mean, the media was so big, everybody knew that I had come in a completely different way. Um, World Snooker believed in me, they trusted me. Um, and they, you know, they gave me the opportunity, then it was up to me. It was basically, there you go, there's the key, go through that door. What I did with it after that was, was down to me. It was so, so tough, really, really tough, but at the same time, rewarding. I think it's harder to be at home um, for Ross with the kids than it is for me when I'm away. When I'm away and working, I've obviously got something else that's taken my focus and my attention. I think the hard part is um, being at home. So it's very difficult for Ross and the kids. You know, he does a fantastic job. And to be honest, I couldn't do the job if it wasn't for his support. When she goes back, it's, it's a strange thing. When she's away, the boys miss her. As soon as she walks through the door, uh, 15 minutes after she gives everybody a cuddle, uh, she's, she's mum again. She starts telling everybody what to do. I get told what to do. This has not been kept clean enough. This has not been done right. That's not been done right. I've got to do this. They've got to do that. So well, within an hour, everything's back to normal again. I find that being away on the lifestyle that we've got when you're stuck in hotels, it's very difficult to eat healthily. So you've got to try and compensate. So when I'm at home, we try and do the sort of healthy eating and um, go to the gym. After the gym, after our class, we like to meet up with the girls, sit and have coffee. Um, sometimes we do lunch and it's just, it's nice, it's a nice little group that we've got that go there. You know, we all work hard, go into class, work hard and then like to sit and be girls, really. She's brought lots of glamour to the sport um, and she's probably double the viewing figures in the whole of the UK. <laughs> Definitely, because my dad and my, my nephews watch her and everything because there's a pretty umpire. <laughs> It makes a big deal. It does. I didn't go out to do that at all. I wanted to just be a good ref. I can um, I can understand how that that has happened. You know, when um, you've got a woman in the game that there's not really been before, um, definitely was not the intention. And you know, quite flattered that people think that. But it was never intentional. The job was always what was supposed to come first. Crucible was amazing. I just remember hearing this buzz. It was just like this buzz, these whispers that were going around and, you know, introduced me and I've walked out and it was absolutely amazing. Maybe the final will be like that because I was going to say it'll never happen again because that's something I'll, I'll cherish forever and ever. That was really, well, it'll stay with me. The whole family's going down to watch me feel. So my mum and dad, the kids, myself, and it's just going to be a blast. It's going to be very emotional, I think, knowing that they're there as well. Because um, my dad has never come and watched me ref snooker, um, ever. My mum has, but my dad hasn't. He's always said, right from the beginning, I'm waiting to get a final at Crucible. So that's massive to know that he's actually now going to be there. Um, but I've got to forget about them. 
I focus on the job that I've got to do. And Michaela is doing a great job. Yeah, she's top class referee. I mean, she's there on merit totally. Obviously, she's uh, exceptionally photogenic as well. But she's there because she's a very good referee. Yeah. People will pay more attention because Michaela is the first female. But the respect that all the players have for all the referees, we should say, and Michaela is great in snooker. Yes, um, I mean, uh, she wouldn't be there unless she was capable and competent and uh, a good decision maker. Uh, you're not going to get every decision right, but uh, under pressure, she's got a very clear head.